and Macon's paratransit buses could be a potential safety hazard for those that ride them. But one rider and advocate says he doesn't want the buses removed. Gloria Ruth Finney live in the studio tonight to tell us why he doesn't want to see them pulled from the line. Gloria Ruth. Greg, he was apprehensive to voice his concerns because he says doing so might cause the MTA to pull those buses. And without backup buses accessible to those with physical challenges, it could be a problem for them not being able to get around town at all. Henry Horton is one of the many visually impaired in Macon, advocating for others and those with differing ability challenges. We're looking for safety and they don't meet ADA certification. He says some of the paratransit buses used by the Macon Transit Authority don't meet the standards of the Americans with Disabilities Act. A person that has an extensive uh, history working in transit would know that those buses should not be for paratransit use. And for those who have trouble seeing or can't see at all, even for someone with mobility challenges, things like seat belts falling into aisles when unbuckled can be dangerous. There are seat belts on the bus that you have to take from one side to the other side to snap it, and they hang in the aisle. The other day I was on there and the seat belt wrapped around my leg, and I had to shake it off. As for some of the buses, Horton says they're missing proper handrails. There are no uh, handicap accessible railings on some of the buses so that you can safely get down before you fall. But Horton says he wants to be clear. He doesn't want the buses removed for not meeting ADA standards because he says there aren't currently buses to replace them. And he says that would negatively impact the people who use them, keeping them from where they need to go. I'm not asking for the buses to be removed because they don't have any buses right now. But these are some things that you need to be aware of because when people look at the Macon Transit, they think it's Macon. There are people who think they work for the Macon City Government. I've not received a response from MTA representatives, but last night the mayor said, quote, he is aware of potential issues and said he will be talking to work with MTA. I'll be following back up to see what changes, if any, they plan to make. Reporting live in the studio, Gloria Ruth Finney, WGXA News.